And finally, we are working on the E91 M3, guys. So I actually picked up this piece right over here. It took a while to get in, uh, but basically this piece right over here is gonna allow us to hold the bumper on the passenger side. This is the only piece that's pretty much damaged on the E90 M3. So uh, yeah, long story short, finally got this piece, finally got that piece. We're gonna have to do a little bit of trimming, mainly because uh, uh, yeah, it's a little bit different to fit an E91. I think it's pretty much have to trim from here um, to here. So we're gonna be taking all this piece off and then we're gonna use the rest of the tabs here. And we definitely need this tab right over here which is actually going to keep the bumper wider out which is very important for the most part we are going to be using the factory bumper so um right now i'm actually just doing some test fitting to make sure it's going to fit or not we are going to be keeping also the pdc's right over here so where i think i'm going to go ahead and trim is probably around this line right over here if not maybe even a little bit higher right over here but we need the e91 bumper because we need this top section because the taillights are different so that is a very important piece that we need to keep and then also the length right over here so we definitely have to use this bumper and then we're gonna go ahead and just cut it from right over here, just like that. Oh dear heavens. And replace that bottom section diffuser technically with an M3 one. That's how we're gonna convert this bumper to an M3 bumper. Um, now I need to find an E92 M3 bumper and I passed up on one a few months ago that was free. I just was like, oh, I don't need it. It's slightly beat up. I, I don't really need that bumper, but I wish I went back and got it because all the tabs are broken, but we don't need the tabs. And uh, it would have been perfect. It would have been perfect because we just needed that bottom section. The reason I want an E92 and not an E90, um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up two pictures right over here. If you guys can see the E91, above um, it's more of a flat uh, surface throughout the sides and on the bottom on the E92 um, you can see there's like indentations on both sides of the grill down there so um, yeah I do think the E92 M3 bumper does look a little better than the E90 bumper so I definitely want to go with an E92 M3 rear bumper on this car um, and convert that so if any of you guys see any rear bumpers in your local area let me know hit me up I need that ASAP in the meantime I'm just gonna go ahead and just trim off that bottom section so we can get rid of that and just mock up this bumper on to the car so we can take this thing down to the body shop because we need to get those quarter panels put on ASAP. As soon as we get those quarter panels on, I can finally make an appointment for paint. And yes, I think I'm gonna go with paint as long as it's something absolutely insane. I'll, I'll show you guys the quote once I get it. As long as it's not something absolutely ridiculous, we're gonna go with paint. And uh, I'm very excited for that because I think it's gonna look so, so, so good in paint. And I feel like it's gonna be a garage queen once we actually get it painted. It's gonna look so, so, so good. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and do all the trimming that's needed. We need to trim that piece. We need to trim this piece. And we also need to trim the rear bumpers so uh let me go ahead and get my trimming tools and get on it And guys, after further consideration, test fitting the bumper and whatnot, um, I think it came down to pretty much deciding I'm gonna go with the E90 M3 bumper, just because everyone that does a wagon has an E90 M3 bumper and it just looks proper. Maybe the E92 is gonna throw it off. I haven't even seen an example with an E92 M3 bumper. So uh, because this conversion does cost a lot of money, it does sacrifice two bumpers um, and requires pretty much the whole rerun to be rebuilt and uh, you know bondoed and painted and all that good stuff. Uh, it's just gonna cost a lot of money for a mistake like that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the E91, just in case it's just gonna look weird with the E92. And there's really nothing wrong with the E90, it looks super good. And at the same time, I actually have an E90 bumper. I'm gonna see if this is savable. If not, then it is what it is. But if it is savable, that'd be fantastic. It'll save us like at least $250 at minimum because torn up bumpers are going for like, you know, 250 to 300 and then good bumpers are going for like $600. So, um, hey, if we can actually reuse this piece and the only thing we had to buy from that accident E90 was just this piece right over here, that'd be absolutely insane. It was such a good donor car. So anyway, I'm gonna keep doing some test fitting. I'm gonna try to figure out why this thing is not lining up. I want one of the clips to go in right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going back and forth, back and forth. And I'll get back to you guys once I actually get to something, you know? I do have the original grill for the E90 M3 bumper. And I also have these two that I forgot about that need to get mounted right over here. So that gets mounted right over here. One gets mounted over there. And that will allow the bumper to actually have an extra support, which is very important because uh, we are taking the support from underneath the headlights. So we do need the support from over here. And it's also gonna give us the screw tab that once we actually put it in there, we can actually screw in the 
the bumper over here as well. So get support underneath the headlight over here, right over here, right over here, underneath the headlight over here, and it's gonna be screwed in over there on both sides. So the little support in this section shouldn't really matter as long as it lines up A-OK. -okay. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and install these two, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what's the best thing to do with these two bumpers. Honestly, maybe just putting the two bumpers into my trunk and just taking it out of professional when they actually do the quarter panels um, so I don't mess this up. Because if I do any cutting and I mess up, I might just make their job even harder. After doing some research and zooming into pictures of other people's conversions, because I'm not a body shop guy, I don't really know the proper way to honestly do something like this. Um, after doing a bunch of research, I found out that you honestly literally have to use uh, two halves of a bumper if you're trying to do it properly with as little bondo as possible. Because basically, if you put in the bumper right over here, um, in this rear section right over here on this bracket, um, it goes in kind of deep on an M3. And when it goes in kind of deep, that means the bumper's gonna be in deeper, which means it's put a layer of bondo um, for it to kind of like, you know, flow properly which I mean I'm sure we can do that but I mean I want I want as little as Bondo as possible on this bumper um, so long story short this section right over here is very important this is what pretty much makes it uh, wider with the quarter panel um, so we definitely need this section we need where that bolt lines up right over here but if you guys look over here this doesn't mount to anything and there's a mounting bracket right over here and that actually is for the wagon so based off the photo which was very blurry and uh, you know just common sense I think we need to cut off the bracket off the wagon and then get it to where it bolts up right over here and then plastic weld plastic weld and for using this section as well from the wagon we also need to cut this bumper um probably like somewhere like we're using one two three tabs so like one two three we need to cut the bumper from like right over here and get rid of all that section and we're going to be pretty much plastic welding only the top end of this bumper it was actually going to be the opposite i was just going to use this entire bumper on the e91 but it looks like that's not the proper way to do it unless you want hella bondo so the proper way to do it is going to be using this bumper um trimming this section and just getting the top half from this bumper the e91 bumper and then uh, pretty much just going to go ahead and plastic weld it all together um i've done plastic welding before not amazing work i know they have like plastic staple guns and stuff like that at the body shop I'm gonna go there anyways I'm gonna film it all for you guys um, so I figured I might as well just take it to professionals that have them do it I'll learn from it my first time um, I know how to do quarter panels for the most part as of right now after doing this super with v2 and when I mean doing it I mean like I did like 10% V2 did 90% but I mean I learned a lot from like on hand experience um, and I could definitely probably do the quarter panels just my thing is if the quarter panels were like cut from right up here and cut somewhere like right down here I'll probably be able to do that because just a a little bit of welding that's exposed and then just a bunch of rivets and stuff like that but because the quarter panels are cut right over here and it goes along this entire section if I don't weld this up properly it's gonna look wavy and it's gonna look really bad so that's why I'm gonna be taking down to professionals for that not to mention that this side right over here as you guys can see is severely damaged so they're gonna have to pull this out and then uh, cut it off and then you know weld on the new piece bundle all this up uh, pull out all these dents and just you know do it properly so but yeah like I said I'm gonna go ahead and prep up these parts as much as I can um, what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is give them a little extra on both pieces so uh, they can cut you know a little more if they need to to line up things properly so yeah we're gonna be using that tab this tab and this tab on the m3 bumper so you're gonna be cutting it from right here down here and just getting rid of that and then obviously putting on the e91 very exciting stuff so without further ado guys um oh, oh yeah also we have to we have to use the m3 bar as well i didn't think i had to do that start removing the e90 m3 bar and remove this bar and swap these out so uh yeah i have to do that as well but without further ado let's go ahead and just keep cutting with the plastics get everything dialed in to the point to where the body shop can just do a little bit of work based off the work i did and at least understand what i'm trying to do again i'll be there but it, 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 i don't have to do any trimming when i'm there it's already trimmed they can kind of get a good idea if you guys know what I mean. This is a very, very, very complicated thing. We're basically converting two bumpers to one bumper, committing two brackets to one bracket. It, it, it's a process. It's definitely a process. It's hard to explain, but you guys will see the whole process once we actually get out of the body shop. Today is pretty much just part one, getting everything prepped up, mocked up, and just seeing what we need to do. So when we get there, we're just not all super confused.
would say probably another like 45 minutes later. This is where we're at right now. It doesn't look absolutely perfect. We got the big dent that was right over here out of here. We pretty much bend this back to pretty much, you know, somewhat decent shape. Uh, I'm gonna pretty much leave this like this for now. And normally I don't really like repairing bumpers. Normally I just like to replace them, but because it's just this little area right here and this whole area has to get pretty much plastic welded anyways, it's not gonna matter if this has to get plastic welded as well. It's all gonna get bonded. This whole bumper has to get bonded anyway. So um, definitely this can be repairable. Thankfully stuff like this is uh, intact and good because that's where the cap goes in. Thankfully the line that goes down like right here is absolutely perfect. The line that's right over here is absolutely perfect for the exhaust. So everything else can pretty much just be flat, which is a huge plus. Um, so yeah, this bumper, thankfully it does look like it's savable. Comparing it to the other side, um, it, it, it still needs a lot of work, but it's definitely a whole lot better than it was. And if you bring these two side by side to each other, again, it's 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 getting together right there. So as far as the M3 bumper, I consider that complete. Uh, we don't need to do any more modifications to this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw that back in the trunk right there. Um, and as for this one, we do need to cut this one. So we are gonna be retaining the PDC sensors um, that are on this bumper. And uh, basically, I believe you have to cut down uh, up until like this line right here, basically. So I'm just gonna go ahead and follow this line and then just cut upwards on both sides and then pretty much just retain this upper section. And that's what we're gonna go ahead and combine to this bumper right over here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and test fit half of our bumper right here. Guys, check that out. We finally got half the bumper on the wagon right here. All the clips over here went in perfectly. All the clips over here went in perfectly. That is kind of to be expected, but uh, yeah, thankfully everything over here is looking good as well. That's kind of to be expected. As of this point, we do have both of the M3 brackets modified, the rear bumper modified, the top half modified. Uh, so now at this point, it just all needs to be combined, uh, but we do have two more things we do need to knock out, which is the crash bar we need to remove off the other E90 M3. And then on the other brackets, we do need to cut off this section off the E91. So uh, we can go ahead and plastic weld those back together. But uh, so far, so good, guys. All the modifications are really coming together. The wagon is truly coming together. I'm so stoked to finally get all this stuff combined. At the same time of replacing it, we're also fixing a major dent on this car. It's gonna make it look so much better. Just a tiny mock-up real quick. <laughs> It looks absolutely terrible. But if you guys check out this mock-up, that's technically how it's supposed to look once you actually combine both bumpers right over here. I do believe it does need to be a little bit more trimming on both ends to actually bring them in a little bit closer. Um, and then obviously the sides, I'm gonna leave that to the body shop. I don't wanna trim too much and they're stuck with too little. But anyways, <laughs> we have both bumpers modified. We have both of those brackets modified. Let's go and get all this stuff in the trunk and actually remove that crash bar and get the other bracket. All right, so I just got the crash bar off of the M3. This is kind of how it looks. So this is kind of the shape here. And looking at this one, it kind of looks identical. So I don't know, maybe the part number is the exact same. This one says E90 US bumper six cylinder. And this one says E90 US bumper six cylinder. This one's definitely a lot beat up. If you guys see over here, 71776 in the end there. And this one shows 76.14. So there is a slight difference. Not really too sure exactly what that is. This crash bar is in way better condition. Um, if you look over here, here as well. This one says uh, six seven six 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 seven six six one one eight. Same exact part. So I don't know, guys. This thing is definitely not as clean. It looks a lot more beat up. I could probably definitely clean it, but I honestly, genuinely think it's the exact same part. This one right here is dedicated E ninety one. Um, so we definitely need to do the trimming portion. Uh, some more right back here. This is exactly where we need it. A little more research before slapping on this bar. And if it's the exact same, I'm honestly just gonna rock uh, this one right here because it's way, way, way cleaner. So after doing a little bit of research, the 0.16 comes out to be a M3 reinforcement bar. And as soon as I put 0.14, it comes out to be a 328XI. So uh, clearly there is a difference. I'm not really too sure exactly what that is right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the M3 one just so we're playing it safe.
Just like that, guys, we have the M3 crash bar on there. Uh, I mean, this kind of annoys me, but I guess we could power wash and clean it up later. It's not a big deal. It's going to get covered up anyways. The main thing is, now that we actually have these two brackets right over here, I'm going to go ahead and cut some excess like I did last time. So I'm going to cut it from down here, all of this. Um, so any pieces that you might need from this, uh, we will have it. So without further ado, let me go ahead and just trim out those two pieces so we can put the final two pieces for this conversion in the trunk. So when we take it to the body shop, we are good to go. And then actually, just remember, we have to get the quarter panels too. So let's just go ahead and do this and get the quarter panels. A lot of stuff to knock out before we actually head to the body shop. And just like that, guys, we got both quarter panels in there as well. The whole bumper conversion with all the bolts and screws ready to go to the body shop. We got the brand new crash bar on there. I'm not going to go ahead and shut this. I could bend this in and then shut it. But the thing is, once the bumper kind of rests in this position for a long period of time, it's going to have to be heated and pulled back. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like this. I went ahead and pushed in the latch so the lights are not on. The car does think the trunk is closed. So as for now, I'm super happy with today's progress. I did just hit up my body shop guy and he said that he's ready for us on Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. So that is six days from now. So if the next video is slightly delayed, uh, please understand that. I mean, probably gonna get this video out on Thursday and then probably I have to at least wait for Tuesday to take the car there and I'll give you guys some updates there. Um, but I think the first things we're gonna go ahead and do once we actually get there is probably gonna be the quarter panels first um, and then probably the bumper is gonna be probably in the end. But yeah, I'm super excited because hopefully next week the two quarter panels are gonna be on there. The rear bumper conversion is gonna be done. And then once you actually get all the body work done on this, guys, I'm gonna hit up SSR Auto Body. They are the ones that actually did the hood paint match on my F80 M3. Um, they repainted uh, my front clip on my E92 M3. And again, they do phenomenal work. Even after owning the car for several months to a year, there's no rock chips whatsoever. So honest to God, like I really, really, really hope that we could work out something with SSR Auto Body. You know what, guys? Let's go ahead and pressure them just a little bit. And uh, <laughs> let's hope at least they can give some kind of discount. I mean, obviously their paint is phenomenal. I'm sure a full car paint job is like 15 or $20,000 or something like that. Like at least a very proper one because they do it like factory but all by hand like they spend so much time um they even painted actually a mclaren senna which is absolutely insane like imagine a customer and saying like hey mike my, my you know three million or four million dollar car um or i think two million i don't know whatever the heck it is um i want ssr auto body to repaint it they did a phenomenal job I and mean, it looks absolutely amazing the fact that they could take all that thing apart repaint it all put it all back together like oem spec again again it would be an honor to get my car painted there so long story short if you guys could do me a favor i'm gonna go ahead and link ssr auto body's latest post i want you guys to comment a hashtag uh paint Norris e91 m3 like hashtag paint Norris e91 m3 and just like just blow them up blow them up i want them to hit me up and be like yo i can see something's going on over here do you want to paint e91 with m3 with us and we're all gonna be like of course of course because that would be the absolute dream because it's gonna look so 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 good if they actually do it but yeah guys at this point i mean there's really nothing else i can do i'm just gonna wait for uh the body shop to call me saying hey bring in your car um so yeah we're there we're there the car is a running drive i mean other than putting on the exhaust painting the car and doing the body work we are literally three steps away from getting this thing hopefully registered and on the road as a perfect e91 m3 like that's that's insane i mean obviously these last three steps are gonna cost a lot of money and you know but at the end of the day we're not too far <laughs> So yeah, guys, please go blow up SSR Auto Body. But without further ado, guys, gonna have to conclude this video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.